Let's talk uh, about the Browns offense. What does it look like um, against the Texans if they're going to get a win? They got to be able to run the ball with inside zone a little bit. Um, look, I don't know how much you want to throw at Derek Stingley and Steven Nelson. Both those guys are having good years so far. Um, and both those guys have gotten a lot of turnovers this season. So you got to be a little bit more careful with the football. This is a week where, hey, you know, Joe Flacco, you might get away with throwing a couple of interceptions, but I would really love if we could play a plus margin game, right, where we're not trying to win by three, where we win by multiple scores or something like that. And I think that has to do with just not turning the ball over, having some success with the inside zone, and then playing good defense and capitalizing on good field position. I feel like in the Flacco run, there's been two things we haven't done well so far as a team. It's been keeping taking care of the football and capitalizing on good field position. How many times have you seen the Browns line up on – the 40 or close to the 50 and not even get a field goal out of it the last few weeks, tapping a ton. They haven't capitalized on good field position. They haven't capitalized um, on, on not turning the ball over as well. So I think those two areas are where you want to start to see some success because those are the two glaring flaws that you see with this team that you worry about hurting them when they play a good team. Yeah, and, and – Houston has been really good at taking the ball away. They're, they're one of the, the tops is in terms of plus turnover differential. Um, how concerned are you about Devin Singletary? It's guy, um, he's averaging, I think, three of his last six games. He's been over 100. He's averaging almost five yards a carry in those six games. How much of a concern is he for the Browns' uh, defense? He has to be the number one concern because your number one goal is to put the game in Case Keenum's hands this week, right? You want Case Keenum to throw the ball if you're the Cleveland Browns. And if you don't stop Devin Singletary, you won't be able to get to that, right? We talked about all the awards you think you can reap from forcing and getting pressure on Case Keenum. Well, you don't get to those rewards if you don't stop Devin Singletary. So that's going to be number one priority this week for this team is to take Devin Singletary out of this game so you can put the game in the hands of Case Keenum.